Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is JT from Above and Blow the Belt. I have uh, some news about um, Jose Benavidez, what he said about uh, if a bullet couldn't stop me, neither can Crawford. And um, this is, uh, I think this is going to be an interesting fight. And I've been told y'all this already. I think this is going to be a, 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 it might be a tough fight for Crawford. And it, it's going to be a tough fight for uh, Rita Vidas too at the same time. Uh, these are due on, are, are, are in under the uh, top ranked promotional company. And uh, they're going to fight uh, this Saturday. They weigh in this Friday, today, which is, you know, Friday. They're going to weigh in. Um, they've been, this is getting, this been getting some, uh, some exposure, some, uh, in, in the last, this, this week, in the last week, I would say, they should have started doing a little bit more promoting like three weeks ago, four weeks ago, man, or when, or even when they was trying to, um, uh, when they, even when they signed the contract, you know what I'm saying, this fight will be on ESP, ESPN, the, um, I think the regular channel, instead of the out, uh, I think, uh, sh uh, Shakur Stevenson is going to be on the uh, on the card, but he's going to be on the ESPN. Um, I think the regular channel instead of the out. The uh, more more the people who's going to fight the more it's going to be more people on the on the card. It's going to be on the out, so you would not see them fight. You will see Stevenson and uh, Crawford and B to B to ass. I forgot Stevenson uh, opponent who he's fighting, but uh, you you definitely see them. But getting back to a B to B to ass, what he said about what he quoted. Uh, if a bullet couldn't stop me, neither can Crawford. Uh, I like, you know what? I like Jose Vida Bidas. I think he's a, um, I know he's he's got the talk, man. He, and uh, and by his record, you know, what I'm saying he's uh, as in him talking the talk, he's walking the walk too. The same thing he came back. He been shot in his uh, leg, and um, you know, and uh, yeah, Vida Bidas record is 27. He got 27 uh, wins and zero losses, 18 knockouts, and um. And uh, matter of fact, Crawford uh, got 33 wins and zero losses and 24 knockouts, and both of these are undefeated fighters. And that, this will make it this will makes it uh, really interesting. And, and because of what they've been going back and forth for, like they've been going back and forth on uh, per, uh, face to face and on on uh, on different platforms of theirs, uh, uh, media platforms talking about they, they don't like each other and they going back and forth having different words with each other and stuff like that and um i think it was two days ago they um i think it was yesterday or two days ago uh crawford showed up to his sparring practice uh with somebody and uh and it got heated you know what i'm saying i remember what somebody said on the uh, uh it was on one of the youtube channels uh about uh it was hard to listen to them because it was a woman screaming and stuff like that and 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 he said, man, these women need to stop screaming and let the man talk. And I can understand what he's talking about too at the same time. So, but um, but I think I think they I I really think they don't like each other because I don't think this is really uh I don't think it's so much of acting because you know why you know you know one of the reasons because they had words they had words with each other prior. I'm talking about like for for a year now, maybe even two years now. You know what I'm saying? So, but one thing about this fight. What makes me kind of uh, curious how how B to B that's leg is gonna hold up? He said because I remember uh, uh, me uh, me uh, reading his uh, what he talking about uh, uh, about the uh, about Crawford. If, if a bullet can't stop me, Crawford can't stop me. He said something about his leg hurts after he uh, fight people. You know what I'm saying? Because he was even supposed to be walking. That's what the doctor said. So that's what kind of takes to kind of kind of take the light kind of take the light out of this out of this fight a little bit just a little bit i still want to see it but it seemed like it's it's uh, i'm I, I don't know i don't know how b to b that is how his leg is gonna hold up i don't know how he feel i don't know he's just making it up i don't think he's making it up but how much his leg is hurting him you know that's the thing um he because when you fighting crawford man you gotta be a hundred percent you can't be you can't be eighty percent, ninety percent, but I guess he, I guess Vida Vidas, you know, um, I don't think his leg is gonna get no better than what it is now. So he said, "Man, let me fight." He's a warrior. I, I, don't give me that, and and and, and trust me, Ch Chance Crawford's a warrior too. He got dog in him too. So he's a switcher. He can, he, he can, like Chance Crawford, he can do orthodox or softball. He can adjust to uh, fighters 
and stuff like that. That's what makes him special. He's not on the pound for pound list for no reason, y'all. He's he's like first or second in my in my eyes in on the pound for pound list. But he's 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 second right now because I got Canelo up there. But I mean, if somebody talk to me a little bit more about Terrence Crawford and and because I'm back and forth with it because sometimes I put Terrence Crawford in Canelo Alvarez, but um, but at the same time, man, um, uh. I hope he don't use it as an uh, excuse, which that is the truth about his leg being shot and and he might do be hurt. See, that's the thing. I don't think he don't use it as a as a big excuse. I, I might be I might be wrong, but nobody gonna want to hear because you know how much your leg hurt and how much how much you could fight on that leg against a, a, a opponent like a uh, Chance Crawford or a fighter like Chance Crawford. I would say. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be a, you gotta be your best man. So uh, you get you know how your leg feels. So you got in the ring with him. So hope that don't be a a, a, a built in excuse. But you know how some fans gonna say it is, which I wouldn't argue with y'all about that. And I shouldn't say it's an excuse, but in a way, you in, you going in the ring with him. If you don't want to fight him, don't fight him because of your leg. If you if you you know what I'm saying. But I think the videos don't have a choice. He do have a choice not to fight him if he don't want to fight him, but. I don't know, man. But I still think this fight going to be an interesting fight. It's not going to be an easy fight for both of these guys. You know what I'm saying? Because I think um, Peter Vidas is going give to his, give, it, give his all. He knows this is for the belt. And, um, and you know, one thing, Vida, Jose Vida Vidas was the, uh, uh, was the man in the top rank uh, before uh, Terrence Crawford got there. So Terrence Crawford took some of that shine. And now it's it's, it's Lomachenko and Terrence Crawford in, in, uh, who's who's the head, who's the uh People they talk about in top rank. It's not a B to B there. I think he's like third, whatever. But still, people still today people still don't know who uh, who Jose B to B there is. You know what I'm saying? So that that will kind of that will that will make you feel a certain type of way. So uh, you know what I'm saying? So but at the same time, man, um, B to B there is spawned with his brother, and his brother's a a, a, a middleweight. He's a 168 pounder. You know what I'm saying? And he said when he was fighting, he was sparring with his brother to get ready for this fight. Um, his brother was like 190 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Because his brother got, a, I think he got the WBC strap in the super, uh, super, um, the uh, middleweight division. You know what I'm saying? The 168 pound division. And um, and he's a, uh, he's a, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a, he's a dog too at the same time. So um, he's getting prepared for Terrence Crawford, like I said. And uh, I wanna, how, I wanna, how much. How much uh, rounds did he go with his brother in the sparring, and how how did he do in sparring? That's the thing I want to I, I want to know. Um, but the thing about it is, if see he's a hundred sixty eight pounder, but the thing about it is, I bet his brother don't move like Chance Crawford. I bet his I bet uh I bet he's not quicker than Chance Crawford, and uh, he's not his ring IQ like Chance Crawford is not like uh it's not like Terrence Crawford his brother. So it is it is a it is a difference now. But as in him hitting, taking uh, his brother punches and stuff like that, that's the thing. I don't think Chance Crawford get, definitely Chance Crawford don't get uh David Vita Vita as uh punching power of course. But movement, IQ, a ring IQ and uh you know what I'm saying and and uh you know all that all all that in one is that's a that's a lot. Because Chance Crawford has it. And um at the same time, um, this is going to be, like I say, uh, an interesting fight. And I will be looking at this fight on ESPN. And uh, what do y'all guys think about um, who y'all think is going to win the fight? What do y'all think about what Vita Vita is, uh, you know, do you think he's just talking? Or do you think he just, you know what I'm saying, uh, wants some more recognition? Or just, just saying what he's saying because of, you know, the cameras in front of his face? Or do you think he's serious? Which... I think it's publicity, but I think he's serious too at the same time. I mean, it's, it's, it's good, and uh, this is his big fight, man. I think if I say this, I'm gonna say this, man. If he loses this fight, man, I think he just. I'm not gonna say hang it up, but it's gonna take him a long time to get back up there on that on that to fight Terrence Crawford again or whatever to be on this uh, uh on this on this level. You know how this fight is coming along. You know what I'm saying, and and this this fight have been. Promoted in a month. It's been promoted in two weeks, I would say, or whatever, you know, or three weeks, I would say. But you know, but uh, now it's getting some recognition. I don't know how much the ticket sales is going to sell. I think it's going to do okay. It's going to do great. I don't know about that, but it's in uh, Omaha. I think that's. I think that's what. I think that's what the fight is going to be at. And 
I might be mistaken, but it's going to be, I'll put it like this, it's going to be in a Terrence Crawford hometown. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be the Shy Center, Health Center. So, um, yeah, this is for 147, uh, the championship, a championship matchup. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment at the bottom of my page, like my page, subscribe to my page, hit the bell icon for new notification, new videos from me. This is JT from Above and Below the Belt. All right, bye.